Hey guys, you know that shit around you? you? Yeah, you're sitting in your own shit. Not a good idea. I'd clean your feet before you come inside, eh? So while we're up here in Sierra Nevada, we're staying at the, the sports center. It caters for, for every every sport imaginable, really. It's a massive swimming pool. There's a proper athletics track, massive gym. Every sport I imagine could be could be looked after at the center here. It's been a it's been a good couple of weeks up here. Had a little bit of a niggle, a little bit of an injury on the on the sort of the insertion of my my ITB hamstring on the side of my leg there. Bit of pain, so I've had to back off for a few days. Otherwise, had some really decent riding out here, and hopefully that's going to take me into the tour of Romandy, which will be next for me, and see how we go there. I've only got a short ride to the airport tomorrow, so no cops for me tonight. Cool. Nothing fancy, but it does the job. Today we've got a time trial, 18 kilometers, stage three. Bit of a different time trial, quite common in Romandy actually. We've got a little bit of a little bit of a climb and then a really fast descent down to the finish. So for a lot of people, that's almost gonna be the finish line up there and then uh, rolling down as fast as we can to the finish. Gonna go do a quick recon now, go and uh, check out what it looks like. That descent was crazy. Yeah? Man, I think we're in almost 100 k's now we're down there. 100? <laughs> oh, <Ryan. Me> <coughs> oh. Need blue Oh. Definitely blew out some cobwebs. Yeah. feels to be 12 again. <laughs> Got a very early morning, very early morning for professional cycling standards this morning. Leaving the hotel at 7 in the morning. Looks pretty wet out there. Typical Tour of Romandy day today. Big mountain stage. Hopefully, hopefully it dries up a little bit. So we're, yeah, leaving the hotel 7 o'clock in the morning. Breakfast on the bus. Could be interesting. Um, let's get this day started. Good morning. Good luck to you and that's go fall down. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Hey, ciao. <laughs> Right, let's see what's in this breakfast basket. Oh yeah, Good. a few gluten-free pancakes with berries and omelette with rice. Mm. Just what you feel like at seven o'clock in the morning. Then uh, this part, like I just said, on the flat, this can be like for uh, at the moment, no wind, 
but uh, it can change uh, from one hour to the hour and strong, strong, strong wind. Just back in from from the Queen stage of this year's tour of Romandy. It's definitely not what we'd hoped for. We really came here, came here fighting for the GC with Mike. The two TTs didn't really go too well for us. And today's Queen stage, Mike was up for it. Really gonna go all in for the stage win. Bottom of the last ascent, just turning onto the foot of the last climb. Mike got a bit tangled up. Had to slam on brakes. Just got caught off really. Bit of a bump on the corner as well. Came down. He's pretty pretty bruised up, but nothing broken, which is the main thing. So lucky in that sense, but no luck for us at this tour of Romandy. This same stage I can remember doing two years ago and Mike, Mike managed to win that day. And that was when Garrett Thomas lost his handlebars in the, in the sprint. That day was a day I'll remember on the bike for a very long time, just because of the extreme weather. I don't think I've ever been so cold going uphill. But yesterday, thankfully, the weather just held up. We had a little bit of drizzle, a little bit of rain, but only for about five minutes when it, when it really got cold and when we got up into the snow. For me personally, I think it's it's been a good week of racing. It's what I've needed to to get back into World Tour racing. I've had a bit of bit of time off now with a bit of an injury on uh, my tendon. That's not giving me any any issues anymore. No more pain. Just got to get stuck in now. Got to get stuck in. Do the work. Going to be off to to a training camp in Andorra next. Looking forward to that. That's always always good going up there and get some solid work in ahead of the races to come this summer. Ten, 10 o'clock. Yeah, slipped in 200 euro. <laughs> yeah, bars open and free. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Tourists. Look at the camera. Tourists. Where are we going? So, first day of training camp for me. How do you talk while I'm talking? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we get double camera. Okay. Hey, this guy. Just let Daryl talk. Yeah. This guy, you know, I'm trying to film and this guy, you can't come up with your own content that just follows. You, you can't have two YouTubers in one car. I know. You, 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 you get yeah. the sensation and then you get like the guy who's just got the name. You know? Like, I don't have the name, but I'm the sensation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got that on camera. Oh, That's the only Afrikaans I know. <laughs> So, anyway, as I was I saying... Looks like it's, 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 like it's, it's as snowing it's in your window there, Daryl. I'm not well, afraid. Why is it snow inside But I've window? been here five days. I'm already... Why is it snowing? Because it snows everywhere. So, yeah. First day of oh, training, camp. training camp. Sitting in the cars. Freezing. <laughs> now, we're going to drive down today. Hopefully, the weather's a bit better down there. Do three, four climbs. Come back up. Pretty frosty up here. Minus 0 0.5 degrees. Everyone's opted to drive down this morning. Except for Corbin. Corbin strong. Kiwi. I think not quite not quite wired the same as the rest of us. <laughs> Extra half an hour of descending. Freezing temperatures. Yeah, not so appealing for me. What do you think, Goldie? I think we need to do ski in this condition and not cycling. I agree with you, man. Yeah. Much better weather for skiing, not cycling. So today, today is my birthday. Happy birthday! The guys have taken me on a bit of a birthday treat ride today. Bit of uh, gravel for my 32nd birthday. For the 8th time. 32nd birthday for the 8th time. And we've just got the, the Giro's just started. Following that. Reasons why you should have a quad lock.
<laughs> this is not bad at all. It's like dessert. What have you got there? The, the pie one. Santa Madre pie. Not gonna lie, it is a good bar. Very tasty. But problem is, Omer, Omer just eats all of them. Like he's got a whole bunch of them in his room and he's eating them at night even. You don't see my True fact. <laughs> Ciao Frumi, here to Guhul. Uh, I do massage with uh, Christoph. Christoph. Really good, really good massages. Uh, next time, uh, just don't leave your GoPro here, so you don't have to cut this. Have a good day. Happy birthday, by the way. Come to Andorra, they said. Lovely weather, <laughs> lovely climbs. Okay, they're right about one part. The climbs here are amazing. So many options for decent, decent climbing. Getting a lot of altitude meters up here. But uh, yeah, this weather is, uh, it's not your typical <coughs> Tour de France prep weather. That's for sure. Ah. It's all right, make the most of it. Get on with it. This morning is definitely a special day. Every day I've been opening the window here to just absolute bogged in rain, snow, sleet, fog. It's just been horrible up here. But this morning, have a look at this. It is just stunning. Blue skies. Oh. And I think today might be the first day that we can actually ride down from the hotel and not, not have to drive the first hour, which would be amazing. Despite the weather, we've been doing some seriously big rides up here. The usual for, for the Tour de France kind of preparation camp. So mainly three day blocks, most of the rides, five, six hours, if not a little bit more. A lot of lot of climbing, three, four, four and a half thousand meters a day. Especially up up around Andorra, it's pretty pretty easy to get the the climbing vertical meters in. As always on these camps, I've been working pretty hard on trying to get the weight down, and it's it's come down. I think I've probably shed the best part of one and a half kilos in the in the ten days so far up here. So got one more block for me before before I leave. I, I definitely feel like things are things are headed in the right direction. Next race for me will be the Merican Tour, so I'll be able to test out the legs on some good climbs and see where I'm at. Now this is what we came to Andorra for. The last day of a block today, just a big endurance ride, five, five, five and a half hours or so. Nothing crazy today, no big efforts, just spending some time on the TZ bike for me and uh, just getting the miles in with the guys. What do you say, Woody? This is what it's all about in Andorra, isn't it? You know what? Days like this, the three days a year that it's sunny. It's worth living here. Well, it's way better than that. <laughs> you got some good memories up here though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting, getting nailed, nailed with hailstones coming up this climb. Achilles in the 2016 Tour de France. I, I was in yellow, managed to hold on to it. Um, but I think I think we got a break win or I, I didn't win that day, that's for sure. That's for sure. This is the last day of the camp for me up here in Andorra before heading to the Mercan Classic uh, on Tuesday next week. Right now we're going up the caboose climb got the amazing weather again. This is probably my favorite climb here in Andorra, the Caboose. Not a bad way to be finishing a training camp. That's what we're here to do. For me, the, the weight has been a big focus on this camp, I'm trying to get the weight down. And I think I've probably shed the best part of one and a half, 1.8 kilos, I think. So definitely feel a huge help on the climbs legs just seem to be turning much easier going uphill. It's that time of year again. Gotta squeeze, start getting ready for the summer. All right, we're here with the 
the two Africans on the team. Danger, Danger Doug from Zimbabwe originally. But uh, here, helping us out with the bikes now. And doing a... You're a long way from home, Doug. South Africa. You're a long way from home, mate. Hey? South Africa is a lucky place, eh? Hey? Joburg, brother. Joburg. Joburg. Jo uh, Joburg. Josie's a uh, Josie's. Good Someone good I know to the dogs. Josie, on the Giro but... training in Joburg. <laughs> but we come all the way here to do uh, high altitude training, but we know the deep dogs. See. Exactly. Applying the split second chain cleaner. Geez, that that cassette was clean in a split second, but no, yes. that's it. Hey, your Here jobs are actually easy these days, but you know the real mechanics from a long time ago they never had the stuff you had. Oh, Let me tell you something, Doug, those mechanics <laughs> back then, long time ago, you don't know how good you got it now, but yeah, I know. You didn't have trust like trust me, I know. You used to have to balance it, my friend. <laughs> you used to have to, have to tie tubes here on the, on the thing here to fix it all. Uh, yeah, 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 I love it. You don't know how lucky you got it. And I keep telling those youngsters in the team the same thing. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a wrap on the Mercan Classic. Just out for an easier recovery ride today. Mercan's always a, a race I enjoy. There aren't many one day races that finish up on a big mountaintop finish like that. I mean, it, it obviously makes it much more of a climber, climber specific race, but the Mercan is on, on roads that I'm familiar with down here in the south of France, especially up around, uh, if we ever do a training camps up around Isola 2000. It's basically just three, big climbs, each more than 10 kilometers long, uh, two big descents, and, and that's that's it. So it's it's basically just, it's a, it's a really good test to see where, where, where you're at. And for me, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Come straight down from Andorra, day before Mercan, so to go straight into the race like that, to get into the final, made it over the first two climbs. Unfortunately, on the last descent, we had a big storm roll in bits of hail being thrown at us. I felt that the temperature dropped really quickly there and I felt when we started the foot of the last climb, I just felt sort of seized up. I just felt cold. The muscles just weren't weren't moving. It took me a good 10 minutes of just riding a steady tempo to actually find my legs again and, and then I was able to sort of pick it up a little bit and make up a few spots. I think I ended up 14th or something, which wasn't really anything to, to write home about. But in general, the feelings were really good. Feelings were, were there on the climbs. I felt as if I was able to be at the front of the race, especially when it got selective. So quite quite happy with that. Definitely some more work to do now. Next up for me is going to be the Mont Ventoux challenge. A very similar kind of race, a one day race. Not necessarily a specialist at one day races, but it's it's definitely good work moving me in the right direction. And then next up after Ventoux will be the tour of Occitanie which is four days so give it everything on on the big mountain day and uh, see what I've got as always thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think of the videos and anything else you you might want to see from from our racing life or training or whatever it is let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to any future videos I put out there thanks guys and stay safe on the roads